Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Would you read it? Now faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. See, faith, the Bible says we walk by faith, not by sight. In other words, we walk by faith, but not by carnal sight, but we walk by spiritual sight. Has everybody got it? So that spiritual sight to you is substance. It's substance. Amen? But it's also hope, isn't it? Because it's something future. So that substance is hope. Is everybody okay? Are you getting this? Hallelujah. And what pleases God? Faith. <laughs> Christ, the hope of our future. Romans 5. Here we are in the park on a Sunday. <laughs> nice weather. Cool breeze. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just think what it's going to be like home. Now, for those who just thought of your house, you have false hope. <laughs> In verse 1, Romans 5. Therefore, having been justified by what? Well, praise God. So we know that um, the hope of his appearance and we being like him purifies us. And we are now justified by what? Faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith and to this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. Hallelujah. Do you glory in your tribulations? Well, oh, three of you do anyways. <laughs> Knowing that the tribulation produces what? Perseverance. And perseverance, character. And character, hope. Hope. Now, hope does what? Does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been what? Poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Yes. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for uh, the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. Oh, glory. So we see that faith justifies. It brings justification. <laughs> you know, in this your hope, this hope will not disappoint. If you are truly holding on to this eternal hope, the spiritual hope that is a desire that comes from above, that gives you a, a want or expectation that's from God, it is called hope. It will not disappoint as long as you do not let go. But you must cooperate. Amen? Amen? Is everybody okay? Glory to God. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13, verse 10. Is everybody there? Would you read it? By pride comes nothing but strife, but with the well-advised is wisdom. Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished, and he who gathers by labor will increase. Hope deferred makes the what? Heart sick. And that word deferred is an area where postponed, misled, or disappointed, removed. So hope deferred makes the heart sick. 
but when the desire comes, it is a what? Tree of life. He who despises the word will be destroyed, but he who fears the commandment will be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to turn one away from the snares of death. Good understanding gains favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Every prudent man acts with knowledge, but a fool lays open his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a faithful ambassador brings health. Poverty and shame will come to him who disdains correction, but he who regards a rebuke will be honored. Now, I'm sharing with you one of the things that the Spirit was bringing because he wants us to know to discern about the false hopes that the world is giving people right now because that hope is going to be deferred and it's going to cause a lot of destruction it's going to cause a lot of hurt it's going to cause a lot of sickness it's going to cause a lot of shame because people are putting their hopes vain hopes false hopes deceptive hopes and things that are not given from above but are produced from beneath and the world is producing much false hope. Believe me, the stimulus package is nothing but false hope. All of these things that the world is giving out is false hope. Everything that the government has touched, it turns to shambles. So nothing's going to change. Now, I'm not against the government. I'm against deception. Amen. Amen. So please understand that. But one of the deceptions right now that is being produced and let loose is hope, false hope, so that it can be deferred and it can destroy many people. You can never lose that hope, that eternal hope. But you know, faith comes by hearing. So it's important for you to fellowship. It's important for you to be fed by the word. It's important for you to stay filled with the spirit of God. And not put your hope in anything, especially your bank account, your job, nor man. But keep your hope in the promises of God. Keep your hope in his presence and do his will. The hope of the world will crush the heart of an individual. Amen. Go to Psalm 71. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Start at verse 1, please. Read it, please. And you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, O oh Lord God. You are my trust for my youth. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. I want to close in Colossians 1. Verse 24. 